everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Sharon and this is a channel that is dedicated to all things related to narcissism. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on all types of topics related to narcissism. So if you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. I would really appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up. It's a free way you can help me out. And definitely don't forget to leave a comment because I like to read what you have to say. In today's video, I'm going to talk about hope. Hope is your salvation if you're suffering with or because of a narcissist. When you're with a narcissist, you live with a complete absence of all hope, all love, and all joy. None of that exists for you. In today's video, I really hope I can get across how crucial hope is, how much it means to you as you move forward. Hope can be the spark that moves you to live the life that you deserve. I have what I know is an irrational fear of driving my car off of a bridge and into a body of water. When I drive over or near a body of water, I sit up straight in the seat. I firmly grip the wheel at 10 and 2. My breathing even changes. It becomes very shallow and I have tunnel vision. It isn't until I'm out of what my body interprets as danger that I can relax again. I go so far as to keep a glass breaker and a seatbelt knife in my car just in case. Now I realize the odds of me actually driving off of a bridge are pretty low, but having that glass breaker and seatbelt knife gives me peace of mind. It gives me hope that I can survive such a tragedy. What about when you're in a relationship with a narcissist? Where is your glass breaker and seatbelt knife? Where is your hope that you can survive this tragedy? And make no mistake about it, life with a narcissist is a tragedy. It is tremendous suffering and distress for you. There's no sustained peace or happiness. I named both of my children and my daughter's middle name is Joy because that's how I felt when I found out I was pregnant with her. It's painfully ironic to me now how I used to think I was so lucky that my ex didn't care what I named our kids that I got to do it. When I told him I wanted our daughter's middle name to be Joy, I believed he felt that way too. I thought he was elated. He was full of joy and hope for a beautiful life. Now I know that that could never be, that it never was, that he didn't care what I named the kids because he didn't care about the kids. There's no joy in an entanglement with a narcissist. There's a complete absence of joy. It doesn't exist. And the longer the entanglement goes on, the worse it becomes. Eventually, there is sustained agony, anguish, and intense suffering. For anybody who believes that it will get better, that as the narcissist gets older, as the relationship progresses, if you change in whatever way, if you do something, the, everything can change. It will be better. The narcissist will change. I'm telling you, it doesn't happen. If anything, it gets worse as the narcissist ages. One year for Christmas, my mother bought me this machine that vacuum seals food. So we're going to forget that it's sitting unused in my basement right now. This machine removes air so your food stays fresher longer. Life with a narcissist does something similar. However, it's far from a benefit. It's like they put us in a box with air holes and periodically they cause us to suffer by covering them with tape. At their discretion, they rip the tape off so you can breathe. Not for long though. The tape is off and on until eventually there's no relief. You're always suffering. The tape is always on. And at that point, you have a decision to make. And this is why hope can be your salvation. Hope really is belief in yourself. And you have to believe in yourself if you're going to have the life that you want. Hope is an expectation that something good is going to happen, that something good can happen. It sees the invisible, it feels the intangible, and it achieves the impossible. What hope really is, is the anchor of your soul. It will hold you in place while you battle the raging tides around you. And if you are with a narcissist, there are always going to be raging tides around you. Hope used to mean nothing to me because it wasn't a guarantee. I didn't like the maybe aspect of it. I hope it doesn't rain tomorrow. I hope my son doesn't play video games the entire time I'm at work. I hope I don't drive off this bridge. I didn't understand the power of hope, what it really is. Hope isn't random. You aren't playing the lottery or buying a raffle ticket. Hope is a knowing. It's a mindset that no one is going to keep you from getting what you want. Hope is determination. 
there is nothing that exists that is powerful enough to stop you. When you look fear in the eyes, when you gain strength and confidence, you do that. You have hope. That's what hope has the power to do. When you decide that you will not play the role of a coward, when you know you'll persevere to the end, you will endure and you will succeed. All of this begins with the spark of hope. Now, I know that some of you have given up on the idea of hope. I know you believe that resentment is justified because you live this nightmare scenario day in and day out. You feel like your face is pressed against the glass and you're watching other people live. You only suffer. God, have I been there. I know suffering. When I make videos, I'm not telling you things I've read or watched. No. I've lived this. I've lived every single thing. I've lived this on the battlefield called life. I've had a heaviness inside of myself. I know I've mentioned that I homeschool my kids. There are two books in particular that have been a part of our curriculum, and a main character touched me so deeply because I could relate to them. One of them is Robinson Crusoe. I loved that book. I actually named one of my pets Crusoe because of it. For those of you that don't know the premise, Robinson Crusoe is a man who ends up stranded on an island for almost 30 years. He was completely alone for all that time. No companionship, pure survival. At the end of the book, he goes home. I was reading this book out loud to my kids, and I broke down. I couldn't read because when his rescuers came, he grasped them. He clung to them, and he wept. So did I. The pain, the horror, it poured out of him. There was a picture in the book of that moment. I actually tore it out and framed it. It's on my wall. That's us. We're alone. We're surviving. That's what our life is day by day. We're just getting through the day. That's it. And then we start all over and do it again. There's no happiness. There's no life. It's just pure agony. That's it. And I can understand that. That's why we need hope. The other book that deeply touched me was 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. A main character was Captain Nemo. So Captain Nemo was a tortured man. He lost his family and he left the world. He found a new world in our world. And that's almost like us. We're living separate from other people. We're in the world, but we're not. Now, when it comes to Captain Nemo, he lived on a submarine. His real name is Prince Dakar. And again, I named a pet after him, Dakar. But he went by Nemo, which means no one in Latin. He was a loner. He shunned society. He refused to go back on land. He didn't want to join society. When I was hopeless, I felt that way. My ex made me feel so bad about myself that I shunned people. I believed I was a loner. I was hopeless. It was almost like I was living beneath the surface too. I was in the world, but I wasn't. What I really try to do in my videos is help people who are still in the entanglement understand that the way you think about things is not the way that it really is. Now that I'm on the other side, when I look back and think about how I was, I didn't like people when I was with my ex. Now, I've mentioned before, one of the things that my ex did was that he did not want me to have friends. Now, I know now this, but I didn't at the time. So he would always tell me that people didn't like me or I had this horrible personality. I know, see, this is the thing. I know now that that, that wasn't true. He said it to make me shun people and it worked. But what a narcissist does is they'll end up telling you things that aren't true so that you'll do what they want, but you believe them. So when you're in these relationships, these entanglements, you're hopeless because the narcissist wants you to be that way. If you're hopeless, you're not going to try. So please, if you're in the middle of an entanglement, remember the way that you feel now isn't real. You can have hope. Think about, dream of what you really want in life and don't be afraid to go after it. You don't have to live the way that you are. Now, nobody permanently evades suffering. Everybody suffers to a degree, but hope looks at disaster and shouts in joy. Hope looks at the impossible and says nothing is impossible. Impossible is a word used by people who don't want to try something. The reality that everything is impossible until somebody does it. Does anybody know the story of the four-minute mile? On May 6, 1954, Roger Bannister ran a mile in three minutes and 59 seconds. 
Before he did that, it was believed to be impossible. The human body could not physically run that fast. You'd have a heart attack. The human body was just not physically made for it. Bannister believed in himself, though. He had hope. After he succeeded in doing the impossible, 46 days later, someone ran a mile faster than Bannister. A year later, three more people ran four-minute miles. Over the last half century, thousands have. Why was something impossible made possible? Hope. Nothing is impossible. That's all of us. When you're in the middle of the entanglement, when I was in the middle of the entanglement, I believed I was stuck. I did not think there was any possible way that I could get out. And I know that there are so many of you who are thinking the exact same thing. Or you're thinking, well, you don't understand. You have a different circumstance. In my circumstance, I just can't leave. It's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Think of all the people that have gotten out of narcissistic relationships. People who have gotten out of a narcissistic relationship are no different than you. They had hope. They believed they could do it and they found a way. Now, I know it's not as easy as just saying, oh, geez, why didn't I think of that? I'm going to leave today. I know it takes planning. It's not a regular relationship. You're not with somebody that is going to let you go easily. You need to escape. I get that. But it's so crucial. I just cannot stress enough how crucial it is for you to have hope because it changes everything. All of us have one life to live and we don't know how long it is and to waste your life with somebody who doesn't deserve you. It breaks my heart. Now in life, you aren't always responsible for what happens to you, but you always are responsible for the attitude that you have. You have a choice. You can retreat from life and live hopeless with a narcissist. You can be better. I mean, that's a choice you have. Or you can get better. Everybody is going to do one of those two things. You're either going to be better or get better. Every single day, you have a choice to make. There's a new opportunity always. There's never a time when you can't make a different choice. A narcissist really is a bully. And they really are hopeless. We can choose our life though. We can have hope. Some of you know that right now I'm in the fight of my life. I'm in the process of planning an escape for my ex and it's terrifying. Anything can go wrong. I'm literally living on hope. It is my anchor. Now, if you know me in real life, I'm almost always in a good mood. I'm always smiling. On Sunday, I was at work and I told my coworkers I was quitting. I was so touched at their sorrow. Both of them told me I'm their favorite person to work with because they always have fun with me. And I'm not telling you this to brag, to say I'm like this great person. I'm telling you this because attitude is a choice. Hope is a choice. I'm living in hell, but my coworkers look at me as someone who's fun to be around. My coworkers were shocked when I told them why I was quitting. Oh my gosh, we had no idea. They had no idea because hope is within me, not despair. You manifest your own destiny. I'm no different than any of you. Your attitude is a choice. I look at hope as a gift to my family. Nobody wants to live with a miserable, pessimistic, hopeless person. But it's important to remember that you can't change anybody else. When you are full of hope, that's personal. Many of us have no hope in ourselves and our ability to change our lives but we put all our hope on the narcissist changing. I don't know how that happens. We keep believing that we have the 1%. I mean, that's our hope, that we have the 1% of narcissists who supposedly can change. We don't think that we can change, that we can have a better life. It's completely dependent on the narcissist. I loathe that phony statistic that 1% of narcissists change. If you have a narcissist who changed, put a thumbs up in the comment. Let's see how many thumbs up there are in the comments. I just don't believe that narcissists change at all. I believe the best that you can hope for with a narcissist is that they would become, that they would be aware, that, that there would be some awareness that they're not the greatest person, that they can be mean, that they don't make choices in your benefit. Your hope needs to be in yourself. You need to be a person with a dream, not a dream that the narcissist will change, a dream that you can change. You need something to get you out of bed in the morning. When you have hope, everything changes. You don't need to start big, but you need to begin. The greatest tragedy in life is not to fall down, but to stay down. This can end. 
the sun will rise again. You need to get up, get up on your feet, square your shoulders, and fight for what you want. There's no such thing as hopeless. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it helped. Hope is so crucial. It has saved my life. And I want everybody to experience life without a narcissist because you can. There's nobody that can't. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. I will be back on Friday um, for my Friday video. So I hope everybody has a wonderful day and God bless you all.